And Jack stepping in close. That's the left hand. The referee waves it off. It was the left hand in close in the end from Badu. Nice fight. And Stevenson going to work on the body. Left hook upstairs by Jack. But Stevenson definitely has a second wind. Fire off any punches. There's a right hand oh. and another right. Like he's trying to do already. Oh! There it is. That was quick. That was very quick. Have we got the knockout? Is he going to get up? Have we got the knockout of the night within the first 30 seconds oh of round? Another body shot. 15 seconds and it's over. Tony Weeks has seen enough. And Bado... Boxing. You, you get hit and he's, and he's back on him. Oh, he hits him as he goes down, and uh, he doesn't want any. You would think if it's not four to four, it's got to be five to three. A huge left. They're going to call that was a, a slip. A point deduction from a dream off, and that right hand clipped him and sent him down. Is that a knockdown? You never know with this guy. Yes, it is. Six, seven, eight. Walk over here. Walk to me. Can you go? Yes. And Walker, how is he still standing? Pereira's lost three of his last four, but you're right, one of those losses comes to Errol Spence, welterweight titleist. Comes off a sensational win. Well, there's a hard hook. Pereira's out on his feet. There's another hook. Estevez, and that's it. Benji he just turned his head last at the last minute and took the sting out of it. Oh, oh good he's not going to take the sting out of that. He's been caught. Now, the breakthrough in the last few seconds of the eight. There's Madrimov, and here he is, the first knockdown of that round. See, wailing in with that hook to the body. And like I mentioned, he his feet come off the ground, but it's hard to stop because he's so athletic. Usually, you can check him from coming in if his feet are coming off the ground like that. But Madrimov is just so gifted, so talented with his footwork that he's able to get away with it. Navarro showed a lot of guts to get up off the ground. I know you were looking at him, Sergio, and you thought he's not getting up, and he proved, no, 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 I'm going to get back on my feet. But there was nowhere to go. Lovely right hand already. Aggressive start here. From Rambler, landed a good right hand there. Oh, big shot. And the gum shield flies out. Rambler Ali makes it seven on the spin and what an important win a night for her sometimes just change direction keep the opponent constantly thinking that left right combination has worked particularly well keep the front foot there throw that left hand out when you ask them forward these are good shots from ali some of the best and heaviest of the contest so far showing an impressive work rate so far about the body, finishing on a good left hand there Ali yeah she dropped a lovely straight right hand to the body oh, that's good combination punching lovely shots <laughs> referee Bob Williams just scurrying across to the to the business side of the ring there and she's pouring on the pressure here Ali and those gloves those left and Cambosis also needs to pick up his offense. A lot of movement, a lot of different angles he's given, but he has to punch and he has to land just like that. Oh, nice. There's that uppercut. He landed it a handful of times this time, but he's not staying in there long enough for Diaz to land anything back. So he punches, gets out, and shifts. By Manny landing while Cambosis was in the southpaw stance. And he laying a double right hand as Cambosis' feet. Another right hand from Haney. Lands on Cambosis' chin. Great finish to this third round from Devin. Nice right hand there from Haney. And, and Tim, I think the big difference here. Right now. There, there's a left hook right there. Oh, Shot boy. left hook with a right hand. One, two. And now Haney's got that fire in his eyes. He needs to stop the loading up, though, Bernardo, and just let those hands go. Yeah. Just, oh, one body There's shot. a big right hand that's over the ear. Ooh, and 
He needs to stop the loading up, though, Bernardo, and just let those hands go. He he doesn't go on one body There's shot. a big right hand that's over the ear. Ooh, another left hook from Devin Haney. Gambosis lands it. Or Ryan Garcia's. Oh, it's different jabs. I think Teo, Teo Fimo has a, a, a power jab that, that that relies on timing. Haney, it's longer, faster, it's sharper. Ryan Garcia's in the mix there too. No good uppercut. But to answer your question, I will have to say, I will have to say yes, absolutely. Devin Haney has the best jab, not only in the lightweight division, but probably in boxing. Strong words from the Latin Snake, former junior middleweight champion. They say the legs are the first thing to go, but power and experience are the last thing to go. So Gamboa has that going for him. Again, just off the mark for Haney. Haney's looking for a home run, I'm telling you, whether it's a right uppercut and left hook. He's looking and barely missing. Yeah, you can see the head snap back and he starts to unload again here and surely Cloud cannot last too much longer. He's trapped in the corner, taking punches. He's trying to throw back but to no avail and he goes down again. This time flat on his stomach and really, does he want to take any more of this? The referee's continuing the count and I think he may well have had enough. I think he's going to sit this one out and Tavoris Cloud is... He's got to stay behind his jab and not fall into those shots. Smith Jr.'s corner pleading for him to bend his knees, punch. Those are some chopping right hands from Better Viet. Oh, uppercut as well, left hand. I mean, he punches with bad intentions. Oh. Joe Smith is getting the worst of it. Another knockdown as the ropes hold up. Joe Smith Jr. here in round two. Six, seven, eight. Joe, walk to me. Better be his power is no joke. There's a reason he's there's a reason he's 17 and 0 with 17 knockouts. This crowd is stunned right now. Michaela, silence has taken over. Has taken over the fight is what Better Be has done. Three knockdowns in the first five minutes of this fight. His corner, Joe Smith's corner, pleading for him to land the right hand. We talked about him fighting at that mid to long range. But for whatever reason, Michaela, he's just trying to stand right there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arthur Betterbia. Uh, I don't think he knows what to do right now. I think he's definitely faced from these shots. Betterbia just seems to be quicker. I mean, his, his punches are coming and landing quickly. He doesn't know where they're coming from. Betterbia remaining calm, back to the stick, using a double jab, and then lands the big right hand, uppercut, big right uppercut. uppercut. It's over. That one has Joe Smith hurt. Johnson gets Better Biev in the corner again. Better Biev has to fight out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, he drops him. The referee had said no. Johnson just now. Johnson is right in front of him. Better Biev looks to get a little distance. Lands another right hand and then over the top. He continues the attack and continues to rough up Johnson. The short goes down. Oh, stuttering. And he's oh. wobbled. Perhaps you could hear the corner for Callum Johnson. Joe Gallagher there. He wants the shoulders moving as they trade. Stick that jab out there. Hey, he's been true to his word. Explosive. He was talking that up in the right pre-fight. Sharp he, jabs and a right hand followed. They're stiff and hard. They are. They just. He does not flick the jab. Good right hand by John. I tell you one thing. It's 12 KOs. Oh, Johnson goes down a right hand. 
That was just a... Rabiev is a tough man to contend with when he feels that he has you hurt. Good oh, shot to the body. beautiful left hook to the body. And a right hand hurt, but he's trying to make adjustments. But now he might really be hurt with better BF all over him. Oh, and no. down he goes after a hard 